Hey guys, how you doing? This here is uh, Charlie Scoville. I am uh, Monotonous Productions on YouTube. I am here to bring you guys a groundbreaking tutorial here for most YouTube users. Now, this is going to be kind of long, so buckle your seatbelt, folks. This here is uh, this here's big. So, um, most of you guys here in the internets uh, have heard of Freddy W. He's a pro. I mean, he's got the most amazing sound effects. He's he's VFX amazing, but um, we all try to follow him, and uh, most of us fail. Some make it further than others, but uh, I'm here to show you guys how um, how to get some pretty nice sounding gun sound effects. Now, I know there are a lot of people who uh, message him and are like, "Yo, Freddy W, where do you get your sound effects? Where do you get your gun sound effects, Freddy?" I mean, he just says, "I make them." It's like, Pshua, well, that really helps. <laughs> And he tells us how he's using, like, you know, laser zaps to make a machine gun sound. So this is kind of phony to me. So I'm going to teach you how to make some some pretty nice sounding uh, gun sounds here. Like, actually, I think they're badass. Now, the great thing is, is you don't even need a machine gun sound effect. You need a single shot, like a pshh or a pshh sound effect. And that will just do it. So my, uh, my recommendation is you go get the... Um, uh, real recorded uh, gun sounds v3 pack. It's a half-life 2 sound replacement pack They got the radio sounds and they also got the weapon sounds all these things just for you So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out um, a few gun sounds that I want to use which is uh, we're gonna use a FAMAS That's kind of a simple assault rifle sound effect I'm gonna teach you guys how to use how to make an assault rifle sound like a heavy machine gun sound and then like a quick like two or three submachine gun sounds that I'm gonna make <laughs> And uh, so we're going to use the FAMAS here, we're going to do the uh, the G3, and uh, it has kind of a metallic, <laughs> that was kind of loud actually, my bad, but um, kind of has a metallic sort of sound effect, so we're going to use that, we are going to use um, the, uh, the TMP. And, um, I don't know, if, you know what I think I freaking, you know, no, we're just gonna do, um, just those three. So we got those there in our composition here, or no, just our project, I'm used to After Effects right now. And, uh, we're gonna start off with, uh, the Assault Rifle. Assault Rifle is very simple, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it into our timeline. So we've got the sound effect. Um, and it's quite beefy, you know, I have really nice speakers and they have a really great subwoofer, so, um... You can really hear the bass. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here on our project. And uh, we're going to count. Um, we're going to go. So there's the gunshot. So we're going to count one, two, three sound effects. And on the third frame, we're going to drop another one in. And uh, zoom out here. So um, basically, and then we go one, two, three. And uh, bam. Now this all corresponds to how how many muzzle flashes you're putting into your film. So if you have an assault rifle, I recommend doing uh, putting one muzzle flash every three frames, just like this. So it's muzzle flash, two blank frames, and then another muzzle flash. So it's muzzle flash, blank, blank, muzzle flash. And uh, I learned this from uh, watching Freddie W's videos frame by frame. I downloaded the videos and went frame by frame, and just kind of studied everything. I recommend doing that uh, for everyone. Um, so. What we have here now is um, we're just gonna keep going for like four or five shots. So one, two, three, and uh, set this down, and uh, go back here. One, two, three, and uh, lay this down. So that's I'm just gonna do it one more time. One, two, three, and um, there we go. Now one thing that you're gonna notice here, um, you're gonna notice something. I'll, I'll let you know what it is afterwards so here it is. here it goes now you can already notice that there's some there's some weird reverb at the end so what we're gonna do to fix that is just bring every sound layer down um, like this it, it doesn't really matter you just don't want it to go on for more than like a second or two it can be like down to here you don't want it to be like that but just you know like this even going like this is safe but you want to leave the last one long so you hear the echo. Now you can adjust the you can adjust the volume to your liking, and uh, that's how you do it. 
Now, if that's too slow for you, if that's like you know, if you want like a more of a like a, a more of an assault rifle, like and maybe like you know, if you're doing like some like reference from some video game, you might want it to go uh, like a faster, high rate of fire. So just leave, take an extra frame out, so it's shot frame, shot frame shot. But that's what we're gonna do here with this. Uh, the TMP is actually a very interesting gun sound. If you listen to this, maybe you couldn't hear that. Uh, Kind of sounds like a gas airsoft uh, gun that's shooting three times very quickly. So, um, I think what we're just going to do is drag this down, go three frames in, because it's a three round burst, and drag another one down. So, yeah, one, two, three. Uh, we're just going to drag another TMP sound effect here. Sound effect. And um, I wouldn't actually recommend using this gun sound. It's not the beefiest thing in the world. Um, so I wouldn't advise it. But um, so far, let's see what we have here. Well, actually, that's not bad. And uh, there's no echo to it, which kind of sucks. But um, just be layering down the stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a link to the sound effects package uh, in the description of this video. So that's amazing. You, you yeah, everyone has to admit that's pretty cool. So now this leaves uh, me. I don't know about you guys. How I do my workflow is I edit my films, export it, put it into After Effects, do the muzzle flashes, and then uh, bring it back into um, bring it back into Final Cut, and then do the sound, and then export it to YouTube. Um, so it's kind of a tough and cumbersome workflow. So I think my new workflow is going to be uh, do the sound. And then um, basically, oh wait, no. Wait, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry, that, that, that was, I, I misled myself. So we're just going to do it one more time just for, I just want to see how this turns out too. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, four frames. Uh, every four frames that I think that ought to do it. So one, two, three, four. Um, and I think this is like more of a slow, like ultimate, like maybe an M60 assault rifle, perhaps. So I'm just gonna do one more here. All right, so let's test this out. Oh, something got messed up there. Move that up a frame. I think that was the problem. Nope. It's here. Alright, so there we go. I think that was right. Alright. There. Okay. There we go. That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to put a link here and uh, I'll see you guys later. Um, I hope this is groundbreaking for all those people who love Freddy W and want to be just exactly like him. I mean, this isn't exactly like him, but this is just a big pointer to help you guys out. So, uh, subscribe, like, rate, comment, whatever you want. I don't care if you don't subscribe around. That's not my goal. I just want to teach people how to make some some good videos. Plus, if uh, if you need any help with anything, I'm uh, I'm pretty good at After Effects. Um, and uh, if you need help with anything, I already said that, uh, like, you know, VFX-wise, you know, just send me, like, a zip file of your, your videos or a rough cut that you have, and I'll, 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 do, some, uh, I'll do some VFX or some sound to it if you like uh, for free because I'm cool like that. So, yeah, take care. Monotonous content.